We are staying on top of the Sun Pass saga and continuing to press the state for answers. Not all of it, though, is related to the fallout over the state toll systems meltdown, as you remember last year. Case in point, a Florida woman who found that a complete stranger had been racking up tolls on her Sun Pass account for more than a year. 10 News reporter Phil Buck talked with her today. Imagine going to pay a bill online and finding a complete stranger's information on your account. Then you realize you've been getting charged for that stranger's activity. Well, Tawny Brown doesn't have to use her imagination. She's been living it. I don't know who this person is. I don't know how he ended up on my account. I don't know how we're getting billed for his, his toll charges, um, but he's on my account and so are pictures of his car and his home address and everything else. That's when she stopped paying the bills and started filing disputes with the state. We've just been in limbo and I stopped paying it because, you know, we don't know whether or not the charges that are on there are ours or the other guys. Um, it's just been it's just been a nightmare. SunPass customers can dispute their charges in four different ways. Of course, you know, there's the website. You just go to sunpass.com and you can dispute any toll charges there. But you can also use your phone. There's a toll free number 888 toll FLA. You can dispute charges that way. Speaking of the phone, they also have a mobile app which you can use or you can go in person to any SunPass customer service center to dispute any charges. But the biggest thing to remember is keep a record. One of the things that people can do if they do think that they have a charge that's not theirs on their account, take down all their information, their invoice number, take a screenshot, take a picture of their invoice, have all that information at their fingertips. After that, it's up to the State Department of Transportation to take it from there. Something Brown says has been a challenge. It's pretty easy um, to file the dispute. It's just getting somebody to look into the problem has been the, the, the biggest issue. The state DOT says it has teams of people working to resolve disputed toll charges as quickly as possible, but it's all on a case by case basis and some disputes take longer than others to get it all figured out.